Dogs behind him, get some coffee. And he hit him in the rear and grabbed another gear, still rolling to victory lane. He said, Boy, you can't get through the battle there, boy. Why for the lead? Yeah, I got him from my side. I can't take that to the bell. Let me warn you, green line. Here comes Lamb back on the top side. Four wide to the turn one. Four wide to fourth on back. Four wide to fourth on back. Pace vehicle makes the left hand turn. We're set to go. Winningest driver in series history and current points leaders start side by side on row number one. For those of you watching on Advantage Racing TV and here at Rapid Speedway, it's showtime. Rose who grabbed the initial lead, but trouble mid-pack, car slowing, and it's going to bring out the yellow, and it is big-time trouble for Eric Lutz in the six. Six career wins with the MSTS Tour, most recently two weeks ago here at Rapid Speedway. Ready for the green 25 times around? The action brought to you by Property Solutions of America. Dover leads him into turn number one, but here comes Lee Groves with the momentum on the high line, but it's the gas man into turn three. Groves to the bottom, slide job off of four, and Lee Groves will lead back to the strike to lead last one. Dover to the bottom, can't make that work. Groves will lead, Dover in second, Jamie Bowl is third, Dylan Peterson is fourth, and then side by side for fifth between the 75 of Tommy Barber and 2D of Dusty Ballinger. Ballinger on the high line will have the fifth spot, but Barber hangs tough with him as Groves goes off of the speedway over. Oh, trouble on the front straightaway. Big trouble on the front stretch is going to bring out the red. Red flag is out. Two cars involved here on the front straightaway. Jody Rosenboom in the 14 and the 17 of Lee Ghost Jr. Bring out the red. Safety team is on the scene here on the front straightaway. We're in second, Jamie Ball, Dylan Peterson, Dusty Ballinger, the top five. Tommy Barber restarts sixth, Cody Ledger seventh, Donovan Peterson is eighth, Kevin Flowers ninth, Trevor Smith in the tenth spot. 23 laps to go, back to green. Ball took a look to the inside of Dover, couldn't complete the pass for the second position as Barber made his way by the 2D of Ballinger up to fifth, trying to chase down Dylan Peterson in the 25. Interesting that Groves changed his line there. He's running the bottom around the racetrack. Jack Dover sees that. He's going to try the rim. Tommy Barber off the racetrack on the high side in turn number two. He's going to lose several spots as he tries to get back to the track, but he cannot. Yellow is out. The field, he turned his fastest lap in that A feature way late in the race, somewhere around lap 18. We'll see what he does here tonight. 21 to go. Groves brings us to the green. Ball looks to the inside of Dover, can't take over that second spot. Here comes Dusty Ballinger on the top of the speedway after Dylan Peterson. That's a race for fourth. One-fifth of the way through the feature event as that race continues for the fourth spot. Dylan Peterson and Dusty Ballinger, yellow is out. An 
an orange cone out there on the racetrack in turn number two that was marking the inside of the speedway. Able to capitalize. We'll see if they change strategies on this restart. Back to green. Top four all go to the bottom, opens the door for Dusty Ballinger, gets around the outside of Dylan Peterson. Peterson battling back now on the inside of turn number three. Cody Ledger follows them. Ballinger again on the outside of Dylan Peterson. He'll have the spot off of turn number two, but Peterson battles back and back into position four. Top two run the bottom, think that top four running the bottom. As Cody Ledger catches a bump, slips off the top of the speedway and spins around, yellow is out. We've set the table. So as Bill W would say, it's time for the big dogs to eat. Let's go back to the restart here in turn number four. Lee Groves sets the pace. Dusty Ballinger trying to get that momentum going. He's closing in on two cars as Dylan Peterson goes to the inside of Jamie Ball. Peterson, Ball, Ballinger, three car race for third. Ball has third once again with Peterson and Ballinger wheel to wheel behind them. Down the back straight away they go in front of the 86 of Peterson in the sixth spot. Here comes the 53 of Dover closing in a bit on the 4J of Lee Groves. Off of turn number two though, Groves has a little more momentum. A little more of it as Ballinger and Peterson continue to race. Now smoke from the 4J as we go side by side and a big bunch of flames off the 4J of Lee Groves and that will put us under the yellow. The 4J of Lee Groves already out of his machine over there in turn number two. Rapid Speedway safety team on the scene. The red's going to come out. Cars are going to stop. Oh, Sean, you talk about the luck that he had earlier. The luck just ran out for Lee Gross. That car was running. And then it burst into a ball of flames there as he went into turn number one. You saw the smoke coming out. And finally, when the rod comes through and the oil starts pouring out, the flames start. All going to hang back from him just a little bit here as we come to the green. Now they'll bunch up. 15 laps remain here tonight. Back to green flag action. Top two by the bottom. The 25 of Peterson goes through the middle. And Dover goes back to the top shelf through three and four. Ball hunting on the bottom. Dylan Peterson changes lines. He'll try the diamond move in one and two as Donovan Peterson and Tommy Barber race for the fifth spot. Donovan holds on to it. Jack Dover's lead out to eight tenths of a second that time by the stripe. Ball back to the bottom. Dylan Peterson on the bottom. Dusty Ballinger and Donovan Peterson all on the bottom. Then it's Tommy Barber trying to make that high line work all the way around Rapid Speedway. Lead growing out to 1.2 seconds as Dover was four tenths quicker last lap than Jamie Ball. This time right at 1.5 seconds as Ball getting going once again on that lap. Lap number 14 of 25. Now, 10 laps to go when we get back to the flag stand for the driver out of Springfield, Nebraska. Tommy Barber now all over Donovan Peterson. They both run the bottom through one and two. The 35L of Cody Ledger now just behind Tommy Barber coming back through the field. This 
Time again, Barber goes to the top in one, down to the bottom in two, trying to get the momentum going. Barber on the outside of Donovan Peterson. Very close, back into turn one they go. Give the position to the 75 of Tommy Barber into position number five. Lap traffic now lurks just in front of Jack Dover. Seven laps remaining. The 41A of Andy Byerly will be the first car to go one lap down. Byerly on the bottom, Dover on the bottom. That slows his momentum. We'll see if Jamie Bull can cut into the 1.7 second lead that Dover has as he enters traffic. Right now, that answer, yes, by four tenths of a second, but now Ball's gonna have to make his way through traffic as well. Perhaps the first time this race, Jamie Ball leaves the bottom on the racetrack. He's gonna try the middle through one and two to navigate around Andy Byerly in the 41A machine. That's allowing the 25 of Dylan Peterson to close in. Laps beginning to run out for anybody if they want to challenge Jack Dover for the win. Two laps to go. And a two-second lead. But they are side by side in front of your race leader. Trevor Smith slides up in front of the leader as the white flag comes out. Bono trip around the track. Cars make contact in front of the leaders. Now a whole bunch of contact, and Yellow is out. Yellow is out in turn number two. Well, 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 this will change some things. Coming to the green. Does anything have, or does anybody have anything for the gas man? They've got two revolutions of the racetrack to find out. Dylan Peterson trying to challenge Jamie Ball for the runner-up spot as they go to turn number three. Here comes Tommy Barber on the high side after the 2D of Dusty Ballinger. Tommy Barber has the fourth position as they go to turn number one. Into turn number three for the final time. Off of turn number four for the 11th time in his career, Jack Dover wins with the MSTS. Ball second, Peterson third, Barber fourth, and Ballinger fifth. Well, it's wild and wooly for many drivers out there, but tonight, no such issues. Jack Dover gets the win here with the Property Solutions of America Midwest Sprint Touring Series. 5J Jamie Ball finishes second, 25 Dylan Peterson third, 75 Tommy Barber fourth, 2D Dusty Ballinger fifth. Cody Ledger charges back through the field in the 35L to finish sixth, 86 of, a, of Donovan Peterson seventh, Lyle Howie the third is eighth in car number 29. 101 Chuck McGilvery ninth, 41A Andy Byerly tenth, Kevin Flowers eleventh, Trevor Smith twelfth, Lee Groves thirteenth, Jody Rose Rosenboom, 14th. Lee Ghost Jr., 15th. Taylor Forbes, 16th. Dylan Opdahl, 17th. Eric Lutz, 18th. Brant O'Banion, 19th. Ren Weber, 20th. Your unofficial finish tonight for the A main event. Check it out. We're going to do some donuts here on the front shoot. The gas man celebrates at the Rapid Speedway. Dover will make one more trip around the track, and then he'll be heading to the Pizza Ranch Victory Lane. Thank you, Sean. That was uh, quite interesting. We're not ready when guys are that excited about doing things like that. They come out here. We're standing down here. And it's just amazing the control that these guys have over the race cars to be able to pull those things off. 
making his way to Pizza Ranch Victory Lane. He's taking the helmet off, getting all the uh, equipment, the safety equipment. Here he comes out of the car. Ladies and gentlemen, the gas man Jack Dover, your A feature winner. Come on over here, Jack. Congratulations. Welcome to Pizza Ranch Victory Lane here at Rapid Speedway. Making the trip up here today. You had a good starting spot. The track was pretty interesting out there. It was fast, but it was rough. You had to run a pretty fine line out there, and you were all over the track. You tried them all. Every lane that you tried, you were there. Tell us a little bit about what it was like. Uh, first off, I can't thank uh, my crew guy, Dave. It's just him and I tonight, and uh, it's the first win of the season, so hopefully there's a lot more to come. And um, yeah, like you were saying, we tried every line out there. I mean, these kind of tracks tonight where they're real rough like this, it separates the guys from the boys. So uh, these are my types of tracks, and I just try to try to go where the best line is. And I honestly think if Lee Gross wouldn't have had problems there, I think we would have had something for him, honestly. Well, you were up top. Lee Gross, obviously, there. You get the benefit of the motor going sour on the 4J machine. You come out in front. There's a red flag. What kind of adjustments and what are some of the things you guys talked about under that red flag? Uh, I just told him to put a, a couple turns here and there, nothing much, and put some fuel on it. The main thing I was just worried about is who was behind me and how far back what they were, and he said I was, I was pretty comfortable. So just uh, race my own race and do my job, and we'd be all right, and he was right. Well, before that red flag, you were around the high side the whole way. After that, you went to the bottom in one and two, top in three and four, and were able to pull away. What was the mindset there? Uh, like I said, uh, he's got to go where the best line is, and I tried the top over there one and two and there's just a bad hole right there in the middle up top and uh, it really upset the cars so that's why we went down to the bottom over there and I just felt like three and four it was sticking pretty good and it, it kept the momentum up so uh uh, that was a perfect line, the bottom one and two, top three and four, and uh, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for Triple uh, uh, S Motorsports, Backland Plumbing, Certified Transmission, uh, Speedway Motors, uh, Spike Chassis, it's first first win on this chassis, it's something new from last year, so uh, a lot of new partners came on board this year, and it's our first win, so it's pretty exciting. Well, we'll let you get over to Victory Lane then, congratulations once again, your MSTS 360 winner, the Gas Man, Jack Dover. And Joel, thank you very much. Tonight's Autoland Hard Charger is Chuck McGilvery gaining six positions in tonight's A feature event. So he'll pick up the $100 bonus from Autoland. Fans, again, we thank you all for coming out on behalf of Property Solutions of America, Midwest Sprint Touring Series. My name's Sean Neistad. Have a safe trip back home or wherever you're heading here this evening. And we look forward to seeing you down the road at one of our feature events or back here next week for weekly racing action at Rapid Speedway. Good night, everybody. Drive safe and God bless.